Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at toss or loft bombing in the F-16C. It's not perfect at the moment, but it's usable and it's really good fun. So the way you do it in the F-16 at the moment is you have our F-16 here. We have some baddies there. Well, they're actually goodies, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And what we need to do is set a steer point up. It can be any of the steer points, but I've just put steer point one in. And I put steer point one in with these bad guys here. You can do it in the mission editor, or what you can do is actually put it in through the DED and the ICP in cockpit. And I've got a, a, a tutorial to show you how to do that. So that is how we're going to designate our point. Everything else in terms of setup is the same normal CCRP type bombing. We've got a whole video on that, so I'm not going to uh, teach. I'm just going to go through it. I'm going to afterburn as soon as I go, RC. Three, two, one, go. All right, so master arm is on. We're going to go to air to ground master mode. We're going to type in uh, CCRP. We're going to change our ripple pulses to um, our, our release pulses to 12. Enter. That's all we're going to change. 10 feet spacing will be fine. 12 bombs total going out. On single release, that's fine. Profile 1, 12 Mark 82s. I forgot to say, sorry, 12 slick Mark 82s on board. The more, the merrier. Now we're going to go low and fast. Pretty much as low as you can go and as fast as you can go. The whole idea of doing this is that we can do this from one side of a mountain. You can see that's the mountain. We can toss them over the mountain. They'll land on the other side. And that way we don't have to expose ourselves to the big S300 site, the big SA-10 that's over there. In terms of distance at which point we pull up, it's going to depend on our speed. Uh, speed 600 knots, which is quite normal for 12 bombs. So it's going to be about 5.5 miles. Everything else is the same as CCRP. Keep along this line. And when we get to about 4.5 miles, I'm going to press and hold weapon release and pull up. So I'm going to press weapon release now. I'm going to start pulling up now. It doesn't have to be too hard. We're going to merge our solution marker at about 30 degrees. It depends. A little bit higher and 35 boom so when you saw the solution queue there meets the path market is when they dropped and that's all computed by the computer you know i don't have anything to do with that i was doing it in a hurry though i'll explain it a bit better in a minute when these drop so we've got my plane is what i would usually do is fly away because what we've got is a massive sam system the other side here the whole idea is we can drop them and um and not uh, pose a presence uh, to the sam obviously i am about to die because i'm an autopilot but well, imagine that's not happening. Here they come. Let's go and uh, set up at the target, shall we? So this is going to be a rather nasty shock for these guys. <laughs> Bang on target, RC. Couldn't have got any did better than that. Yeah, no. I did. When I was in the cockpit, I was obviously, you know, struggling to explain all that. So get as low as you can, get as fast as you can. The more faster you are, the longer the distance that you can toss. Obviously, this is useful so that we can toss onto an airfield, and it can be accurate, as you can see here, from a distance. In this case, behind a mountain, so I never had to present myself. So, at a predefined distance, and that predefined distance is based on your speed, so at 600 knots CAS, like I was there, I pull up at exactly 4.5, 4.4 to 4.5 nautical miles from the target, which is shown on our slant range at the bottom right of the HUD. I pull up with um, average stick pressure, I don't know what the poundage is, but uh, average stick pressure, you don't have to pull up hard. And roughly about 30 to 45 degrees, the little tick uh, at the top of the, uh, the the steering line, the solution queue is going to come down. It's going to match your path marker. And don't feel the need to chase it. Just keep pulling up slowly. Eventually, it will come down when the uh, you know when everything's in line and um, the solution queue is there. Then they'll drop as your specified um, drop intentions on the SMS page. And um, that's it, really. And then as soon as they've dropped, immediate crank to the left or right flares out and you don't get, you know, you're five miles away from the target at worst. So it's a really good tool to use. So that's it for tossing conventional munitions. Uh, we will be showing tossing guided munitions. We can toss buddy lays, laser guided bombs, 30 or 40 miles. JDAMs will be able to toss about 40 miles when they come. Uh, the only thing at the moment, slight inaccuracy at the moment, F-16 is tossing. 850 feet, l same as the Hornet. The Hornet had this problem at the start. I think they fixed it on the Hornet. It's tossing long by 800 feet. So whenever you put your waypoint in, you have to put the waypoint, uh, the steer point, either by mission editor or by the cockpit, 800 feet this direction, exactly. And then they'll be perfectly on target every time. Uh, they probably will fix it like they did with the Hornet. So see how you do. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. A queue's gonna come down. And your bombs are up. They're on their magical journey. Okay. You get it? I was pulling too hard. Yeah, we're pulling too hard. Yeah, so uh, we've just come back in just to show you. We have, uh, I'll see if it's having some problems. 
don't pull up hard. You've got to fly, fly the thing like you're flying a formation. Otherwise, you'll upset the loft system. You might be slightly sure. I'm not sure I'll see this. You're slightly off, uh, slightly off line there. You see that? Uh, yeah. Just, so that's just another lesson. You've got to keep that center on that steering line all the time. Otherwise, your uh, your length, uh, giggity, was perfect. Crap pulling. We just like doing this, basically. Uh, look, I'm going vertical. Follow me! Shoot me with your non-existent gun sight. Wonder how mine are doing. Set your face to max destruction. They're going to be long on... I don't know who's those oh, are. Oh! I was ever so slightly long there. Oh, you were slightly long as well. Yeah. Must have had, I don't know, a bit of wind coming or something. I don't know. That was weird. Right. 